Kyle Busch in the championship for five straight years. He's with us now on SportsCenter, and he's here as the champ as he was in 2015. How do these two titles differ? Oh, man, they're actually very similar, as a matter of fact. You know, we came into this weekend kind of as the underdog like we did in 2015 because we hadn't really won any playoff races. It had been a little while since our previous victory, but um, all the guys on my team, everybody at Joe Gibbs Racing, everybody at Toyota, M&M's, Interstate Batteries, Adam Stevens, my crew chief, just gave me a phenomenal piece tonight to be able to go out there and race hard and race with some of our fiercest competitors really close there through much of the middle part of the race. And then uh, we were able to set sail at the end and get ourselves out front to, uh, to win this thing, to bring home our second championship. So it feels very, very cool. All right, then maybe uh, does your appreciation change between winning the first one and the second one? Um, you know, I, not really. I, to me, championships are championships, and you keep adding on to that, and I think they just get cooler and cooler because, you know, being able to continue to, to add to your legacy and to get further up the, uh, the winning ladder, the championship ladder, whatever it might be, to me, that, that's what it's all about. You know, obviously, I come into this sport – um, working really hard and being very passionate about it and determined about it to have success. And I've been able to find that uh, most notably from, from Joe Gibbs and Joe Gibbs Racing and, of course, uh, the group that I get to work with. So um, I, I get the notoriety, I guess, of, of mm -hmm. myself hoisting the trophy and being the champion and everything, but it's really about my guys and, and uh, everybody that got me to this point feels so good. Explain to us sort of the unique challenges of being in a race where you're only going to beat three guys, but there are 39 other cars on the track. Yeah, everybody's out there. So there's 40 guys in the race. There's 40 guys out there, and you got to race against the other three that are in the top four, including myself, for the championship. You know, it's uh, an elimination phases as you go through the playoffs, and each round it comes down four guys, and finally at the end there's only four that go after it in the same race. And so um, rain out for qualifying earlier this week, so we all started one, two, three, four right up front mm -hmm. and raced around one another for much of the race today, and um, I think we put on a good show for the fans. So. Hopefully they all enjoyed it. Hopefully uh, Rowdy Nation really enjoyed it, being able to come out on top this year as the 2019 champion. Right, so I, I get the playoff format, but, I mean, you're out there, right, and you've got 39 other cars, but you're keeping your eye on three. I guess that's what I, I'm wondering, how that, how that is a challenge of keeping track of what everybody's doing and yet specifically those three that are your competition. Yeah, you're only worried about who you're racing in the championship race. You know, if you're, if you're running fifth in the race, and the other three are ahead of you, then you're worried you got to pass those three guys. But if you're running fifth in the race and the other three guys are behind you, <laughs> you're good. You know, it doesn't matter that you got to pass those guys that are in front of you. You do not have to win the race in this format, but it has happened six years in a row now. Last win uh, before Sunday came back on June 2nd. Where were, where were the most difficult spots of your summer and fall? Well, we, we had some ups and downs. We had some rough races, but we also had some good races, too, that just didn't turn into wins. Um, Richmond, we ran second. Phoenix last week, we ran second. Uh, we probably should have won Kansas uh, five weeks ago, but we ran third. And uh, some of the other races that we had, we just kind of had bummer luck. You know, we had a, a throttle pedal sticking in another race. Um, we had a pit road speeding penalty, my fault, in another race. And so you're always just kind of battling through different circumstances that are going to come about you in these particular races. And you're not always going to win them all. But uh, there were other guys that won more races than us this year. Actually, just my teammates, uh, Martin Truex, he won seven, and then uh, Denny Hamlin won six, and I won five. So five, six, seven. We, we took it home for Joe Gibbs Racing this year. If I told you there were 91 days until Daytona, are you excited or are you like, shut up, I want to go to dinner? Uh, I want to celebrate this championship first for a little while, have some fun with it, and, of course, um, you know, be able to have a, fruit, a few brewskis, and then uh, we'll worry about Daytona after the first. Very good, and maybe you can finally uh, uh, come to across the line first there as well. Kyle Busch, he's the NASCAR there champ again. Congrats, and uh, enjoy your offseason, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.